welcome back friends uh, in this video tutorial we'll be learning about the mac lafferty rearrangement now uh, mac lafferty rearrangement obviously it's a part of uh, mass spectrometry so let me write it here it's a part of mass spectrometry okay or ms we simply write it as ms or mass spectrometry now what happened in ms actually what we are having here we are having a a molecule for example molecule we want to study because we know that in mass spectrometry what we get is the structure of an unknown molecule so let's say this is our molecule now this molecule is hit by a electron so let me draw an electron here so electron come and hit to this hit molecule and uh, another electron released so along with that previous electron so we are having so let's say this is a previous electron so along with this previous electron a new electron this is a new one release and what we get this molecule of our interest it is also uh, uh, get rid of one net charge so now previously this molecule is having a charge but now after uh, losing one electron the charge of this molecule becomes plus right one plus and we need to show that one electron is less so we will be uh, looking this st structure like that so if this is a molecule m so let's say if this is the molecule m now after this uh, hitting by this electron now the molecule is having a m plus a, and a dot to represent that this molecule is getting fragmentized right now this is called the parent ion okay so it is called let me write it is called a parent ion Okay. Now this parent ion is generated in the source region of the mass spec because mass spec if you look at the basic mass spec videos you can find it in my YouTube channel that there are th three different part of our let's say three different part of our mass spec uh, mass spectrometer and let's say this is a three different part so let's say here from here so we are having uh, this is the source, this is the analyzer, and this is the detector. So this is the detector, source, and this is the analyzer part. Now this kind of uh, hitting with electron, all of these things that occurs using, uh, usually in this source region. After uh, all these things is done and parent ion is generated, now this parent ion will be transferred from the source region to the analyzer. And it will travel through analyzer and it will go and hit the detector. Now during traveling through this analyzer, this parent ion can further be divided this can further divide and it can generate small ions let me let me draw let's say small ions like that okay so this parent ion will further divide into small ions and they are called fragment ions they are called fragment ions so this is very very important now this uh, this process of generation of fragment ion usually occurs during this analyzers or the pathway of all this ion through the analyzer they generate this fragment ions now uh, mac lafferty rearrangement is telling us uh, to guess what kind of uh, fragmentation that we are going to see or we are going to observe when the parent ion will move through the analyzer that's where the mac lafferty rearrangement come to the play right so that's the important point now we know that this is our molecule and what kind of parent ion it can generate but using mac lafferty rearrangement we can tell how this parent ion is going to divide into small fragments right now let's talk about in the detail of this mac lafferty rearrangement now mac lafferty rearrangement is telling us uh, that uh, any time or uh, any molecule uh, which has a gamma hydrogen with respect to a particular position of unsaturation so let me write it here so there are two different uh, law that is governing this McLafferty rearrangement first one uh, obviously is uh, the, the 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 molecule must have a gamma must have a gamma hydrogen and uh, not only they have the gamma hydrogen but uh, this hydrogen need to be placed so let me write it placed near to an unsaturation point an unsaturation point right unsaturation point so this is what is uh, the most important uh, part of the McLafferty rearrangement now you need to find the gamma hydrogen of a molecule which is to be divided during the journey through analyzer and this gamma hydrogen needs to be placed right next to an unsaturation point in those conditions what it will do this kind of 
molecule which is having a gamma hydrogen next to a unsaturation point they become very very unstable and as a result of having all this they become very unstable now as they become unstable they start to break into smaller fragments right so fragmentation will occur fragmentation will occur now that's what we are going to see now using McLafferty we can predict the fragmentation pattern okay now let's begin with an example now this kind of McLafferty rearrangement this can be seen in uh, in case of ketones aldehydes alcohols uh, and obviously uh, alkenes alkanes and different e even in carboxylic acid having unsaturation we can see this kind of McLafferty rearrangement patterns right so in exam in the question you can see different type of molecule they will provide you and they'll tell you that what kind of rearrangement that uh, this molecule can provide to to be fragmentized right so you need to find those results so let's uh, take the example and explain it so let's take the first example so let me take a color here okay so the example one let's say example one is this now this is the molecule so let me write it here this is the structure of the molecule that we want to find yeah like that and this is let's say this this is uh, our molecule so this is the molecule one they provide you and they tell you that what kind of McLafferty rearrangement that is possible in case of this molecule now uh, the key to answer this kind of problem is I remind you that there are simple uh, rearrangement pattern you can follow if you follow this simple rule the rule is whenever you break a bond you should make a bond somewhere else I, re I repeat whenever you break a bond you should make a bond so it's a simply breaking the bond and making the bond uh, process right so let me write it here so breaking the bond and obviously then after right after it we need to make the bond so making the bond so this is how this process actually works okay so let me zoom in a little bit uh, let me come yeah okay now in this case what we can see the first important part of this McLafferty rearrangement is to figure out which one is the gamma hydrogen now as you can see in this picture they also provide you this one I so this this here is a hydrogen we all know that there is a hydrogen there is a hydrogen there is another hydrogen and so 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 if this is the hydrogen so let me just take this as this okay so if this is the hydrogen this one is the gamma hydrogen this one is the gamma hydrogen why this is the gamma hydrogen because if you look carefully here it is an alpha here it is a beta and this is the process of ga uh, gamma sorry right so this is a gamma hydrogen so let me write it here yeah this is the gamma hydrogen so once we find the gamma hydrogen the next of the part is now remember McLafferty rearrangement will only occur if we are having a gamma hydrogen next to unsaturation now this is the unsaturation point this is the unsaturation point and this is the gamma hydrogen so as they are coming closer they are having the tendency for the McLafferty rearrangement now let's do the McLafferty rearrangement here okay so in the McLafferty rearrangement what will happen now okay now we need to break a bond and make a bond right so we need to figure out from where this process will start now in this case if this is the gamma hydrogen this will be the start point so definitely it may need to have an electron to start right because uh, you need to have fundamental understanding of bond because when you are having uh, covalent bonds like that this bond means there are at least two electrons shared right so if there is on only one electron bond cannot be possible if there is two electron bond is possible right so whenever we transfer one electron it lead to the breaking of a bond and one electron remains there like that okay so this is a very important concept you must know now let's look at here now in this case if this is the electron so electron from this bond from this bond it breaks so this bond getting break broken and as a result of this breaking the bond we need to make a bond somewhere we are making the bond between this section so here we go I'm I'm just writing it just like this dotted lines okay now in the second bond will be broken so this bond will be broken and the formation of bond will be in this part like this now again this bond will be broken 
formation of bond in this bond right so now after this kind of rearrangement what we will get the answer will be so now after rearrangement what we get is this so sorry we change the color here we go so here this bond is broken so we won't write another line but this is a new bond formed so we, I must write the new bond in the new color this is the new bond which is getting formed uh, let me change the color here okay this is the new bond okay and then a hydrogen obviously hydrogen must be there and this bond is broken so we won't draw this now remember this part is simply like that okay and a new bond is formed so I must draw another line here so this is one part and along with that what we get here is so this bond is broken so we won't draw this bond this is there this bond is there and two bonds are formed here so one bond previously and a new bond is formed like that and this part is also constant so it's like the previous case so we'll draw like that and this bond is broken so we get this kind of structure right now remember so this is going to be rearrangement uh, after the McLeaferty rearrangement this is going to be the pattern of uh, breaking this particular molecule now another important thing about this McLeaferty rearrangement uh, problems that after uh, the end of creating all these things what we need to care take care that the last electron remember we break a bond make a bond then break a bond again make a bond then break a bond and make another bond so the last bond we are going to make in this case uh, if we are transferring only one electron if you are transferring one electron at a time then we must not create a bond because I have told you that if there is only one electron it is not sufficient to create a bond but for creation of a bond we must have two electrons right so here are we are seeing only one electron transfer so at the last what we are having here we are having instead of a double bond we are having a so we must not have a double bond here instead of this double bond we are having only one electron which is not sufficient to create a bond so we are having one electron and obviously one electron is not there so one plus charge will be there so this is going to be the actual distribution of this McLeaferty rearrangement pattern okay so simply it's a making a bond and breaking a bond so now let's uh, do a quick problem so let's let's do the problem number two or say the example number two okay now let's take this as an example so let me write an example here for you let's say this is so let's take this one again so this is structure okay and here it is a such double bond here is a double bond and obviously there must be a double bond and yes like that and it will go like this and it will divide two bonds like that and there is another one so let's say this is this is a hydrogen here and obviously here is another hydrogen okay so if this is the molecule and they if they told you that uh, yes uh, what is going to be the McLeaferty rearrangement if this is our molecule of interest you know if this is the molecule traveling through uh, the tunnel of analyzer what is the pattern of fragments that it is going to generate now how can we generate this now let's look at this concept now first of all what we need to find we need to find the gamma hydrogen right in this case now the gamma hydrogen here uh, just just uh, beside the saturation is this one so we can see this is the gamma hydrogen so this is a very important point so the bond must be formed between these hydrogens because we are having two hydrogens here and obviously from where the bond uh, breaking will begin now just right next to this gamma hydrogen the the right next uh, double bond is this one so this electron from this bond is going to travel right so this is going to be the first place for the breaking of the bond so let's begin now here will be a breaking of the bond and this will be a making of the bond between these two hydrogens a making of the bond okay then this will be a breaking of the bond and this there will be a making of the bond now if this will be a breaking of the bond and here will be a making of the bond right like that but again remember if this is the last part so because breaking making breaking making and breaking and making so you need to have six times of breaking and making chain so if this is the last part then you must not provide a bond instead we have a, a dot and a plus right so now let's uh, rearrange it so we are having this 
say yeah we're having this we're having a double bond here and obviously a double bond here but we don't have a double bond here instead what we are having is simply link this we are having this two hydrogens are attached to this and here is a breaking of the bond and instead in this part we are having dot and a plus on the other hand we are having this one this bond is broken so we simply draw this one double bond in this line so we have a double bond and this is a new okay okay so this is going to be after the rearrangement of McLafferty and this is what we are going to get after this bonding so that's how McLafferty always works so remember this two rule first first to find out gamma hydrogen next to saturation right this is the first point you need to find the gamma hydrogen next to uh, the unsaturation not saturation here obviously the unsaturation and second important part when you find it breaking the bond and making the bond and this breaking and making the bond will repeat repeat for total three times so breaking the bond making the bond one time breaking the bond making the bond another time and breaking the bond making the bond the last time so here we can see again breaking the bond first making the bond so this is the first set again breaking the bond making the bond second set then breaking the bond making the bond third set so in all this case we are having three sets of the process so let's let's see in previous case also here we can see breaking the bond making the bond first set breaking the bond making the bond second set breaking the bond making the bond third set and remember another important thing above of, of all that after completion of all these things the last bond you are going to produce this is not going to be forming a bond instead the last electron transfer will generate one dot one plus instead of a double bond right so that's a, another important concept you must know so that's how MacLafferty rearrangement works and I hope that's helpful thank you